Lightbox Studios currently has seven enthusiastic team members, including 3D artists, coders, animators, and texture artists, and even concept artists. The team here at Lightbox Studios are really excited and enthusiastic to show off our game and what we've been working on for the last couple of years. Hi, my name is Richard Hall and I'm the project lead for Project Bovine. And this is a brief overview of what the game will be and what the player will experience when playing. I hope you enjoy. Our game is a first person action adventure style horror game which takes place on the planet Athena, an overgrown economist. Athena was once the heart of an ancient interplanetary trading network and a hub for its neighbouring planet of Triss, the bovine homeworld, the true epicentre of galactic farming. The main focus of the game is a small crew who are in the midst of a catastrophe since the ship, the Cultivator 5, is currently crashing down onto the planet's surface. And while most of the crew are already in their escape pods, that leaves just one person left behind. Now this, of course, is the pilot, and the pilot of this cruiser is you, the player, who, after helping everyone off the ship, is jettisoned off in their own escape pod into the unknown, and will eventually land onto the planet's surface in search of the Cultivator's crew. On their quest, they may encounter secrets that may reveal to be the true cause of the planet's collapse and other mysteries related to the inhabitants. Your initial objective is to find all of the members that have escaped the Cultivator 5's crash and convince them to come back to the base that you have set up, whether that be persuading them back or by force. These characters will act as companions and will be able to fight alongside you and, e and will even provide you weapons that you can use against local tribes. Now these enemies are what's left of the inhabitants of Athena and are as dangerous as they are mysterious. Seeking data pads for information about them may prove useful and confrontations will teach you to be wary when venturing alone in the dark. The zone in which the player crashes down onto will act as a safe hub slash tutorial zone where the player can rest up and interact with characters that they have rescued or have dismissed. These camps can be founded throughout the game, but currently in the beta release of the game, there is only the initial campsite. As you progress through the game, you will gather resources like wood and steel, which you can then use to construct turrets to help defend your small camp, or even build campfires and other camp improvements. The game will also include survival mechanics, which will allow the player to drink and eat. These, these can be satisfied by hunting animals, including bovine, and drinking water from the canteen. They can also satisfy their hunger and thirst by drinking bovine canisters. Now these are also fuel sources, and therefore should be conserved for power as opposed to sustenance. The art style is maintaining to be realistic throughout the landscape and the characters and throughout these different environments we have the desert function, marshland cities, um, swamps, just broken down buildings everywhere and devastation throughout. The character designs were brought from tribal influences located on different reference boards and of course we have some creatures that roam about. Adamo Duca, the general under the Monarch Dynasty, collected his forces and ravaged the capital, overthrowing the Monarch Dynasty of the time. Because the Monarch Dynasty had such a strong hold over a lot of the planet, plunged into constant civil war. With no side, no clear side coming up, the royal family was executed. Due to the Monarch Dynasty being overthrown by Duca's forces, a civil war exploded across the city planet with multiple factions sprouting up as the legitimate government. The other economic regions in which a power vacuum still existed sprung up several warlords, officers from multiple factions that defected and rose to power in the regions and brought soldiers and armies to maintain control, effectively setting up small governments of their own in these areas. The next 150 years consisted of constant civil war, rapid decline and economic collapse, as well as loss of trade, non-Athenian identity, technological progression and population. Due to constant chaos and lack of employment other than factories and armed forces, 
meaning crime syndicates and cartels sprung up all across the planet as a means of creating wealth for the unemployed. Those that had the wealth to flee the planet did so a long time ago. But the majority of the population was unable to and was conscripted into service by one warlord or government or another, or was forced into factories and farms. However, this mass mobilization would not save Athena. Eventually, a famine struck due to all the population being conscripted and none of the farmers working anymore. And the, uh, the large population declined. It, migration off world by the wealthy and constant war ravaging the planet's surface wrecked it. Hello, I'm William Wright and I am the lead animator coder for Project Bovine. Uh, I'm currently working on adding more features to the player character, such as uh, our first person style art with animations to fit a lot of the functionality that we're adding to the game.